Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Elder Scrolls online video with me, Sherman. Today I'm bringing you guys another guide, and this guide is going to be on set farming and how to do set farming in ESO. It's not something that you just do uh, and you get what you want, it's something you have to spend time doing. Anything in any MMO where you, it is required for you to farm will always take time. So, before I get into this, I'm going to repeat it again. This is not something that you can do in an hour or two and get the perfect gear setup. You're going to get mismatched traits on your gear, and a lot of times that is what makes it so time-consuming. It is the traits that you're looking for. Now, if you have a lot of transmutation stones, you can use those transmutation stones to transmute your gear into what you want, in Clockwork City or if you have a guild hall that has a transmutation station. But if you don't have access to those and you, you want to get the things, you have to get them in the right traits and that's what is very time consuming. Also, Nernhone does not drop on gear. So, if you're trying to get Nernhone on something, you have to transmute it or you have to craft it that way. Alright, so let's get into it. So, the first thing you have to know is, how do I get the traits I want and stuff? That's farming. It's just time-consuming farming. So, for me, playing this character, I use a crafted set, I use a drop set, and then I use a monster set. So, my monster set, as you can see, has an infused helm. I have a reinforced shoulder. I farm this. I farmed until I got what I wanted. I didn't transmute these. Well, this one I transmuted. This one, I didn't. Um, it shows it's transmuted, that's because I did transmute it over to Sturdy, and then I transmuted it back to Infused. It originally dropped in Infused. So, um, <clears throat> so this item has been transmuted twice. This one has been transmuted one time, and it was impenetrable, and then I changed it over to Reinforced. Now... To get your, the, the traits you want, you have to farm it, like I said. So, what's the best place to farm overland sets? Well, farming overland sets is, is, can be a pain for a lot of people because they don't know how to get the jewelry most of the time. That is the hardest thing to get for most sets, especially when you're doing <coughs> like farming sets in Vardenfell or you're farming sets in Somerset or Craglorn or any DLC area. Or chapter area they don't have dolmens like we have in the rest of the game now Somerset added abyssal geysers which are there the Somerset version of a dolmen which was really great and it made it a lot easier to farm sets there so to farm jewelry in most overland areas you will get jewelry from trash mobs but it's less likely to happen because trash can drop anything. And that means any mob that isn't a boss in a zone can drop any set item from weapons to jewelry to armor. In zones, the base game zones, you have dolmens. And dolmens is where you get jewelry. You can also get jewelry from zone treasure chests or treasure map chests. You can get anything from chests. So you can get weapons, armor, you name it. You can drop in zone chests. But unless you know where the zone chests are in every zone, it makes it really hard to farm. So, just understand that farming sets, again, time consuming. Very time consuming and it takes a long time. Now, zone sets can also be sold on the marketplace. So you can get a lot of zone sets from marketplace purchases. Crafted sets as well, you can get them from, from marketplace purchases or you can have somebody craft it for you if you don't have enough trade, uh, like enough to craft it yourself in your crafting traits and stuff like that. <clears throat> now when it comes to the rest of the stuff, dolmens always drop belts and boots. The bosses in Delves drop belts and boots. Public dungeon bosses can drop weapons, shoulders, chests, and <clears throat> and I think helms. And I think that's it. 
And then world bosses can drop chests, legs, <coughs> helms, and weapons. So you you got to know which locations drop what. And I'm not exact on that, guys, on what drops what. I'm just going off of what I remember from the One Tamriel update on where things drop. Now, monster sets. This is another one I get asked all the time. How do you farm monster sets? Well, always do the daily uh, Undaunted quests. And you can pick these up in any major city, uh, capital city. So, like, for the Aldemary Dominion, it's going to be an Elden Root. And when you open up the Elden Root map, you'll see this right here. The, 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 you'll find the Undaunted symbol, which is right here, the Undaunted Enclave. You go there, you get the Undaunted quest. And what I mean by capital city, they are only in specific areas. So there's one in Elden Root, there's one in Mournhold, and there is one in Wayrest. And these are the capital cities for the different factions. So, the Undaunted Quests allow you to earn keys. Now, you can only get this from doing the daily dungeons, not the daily delves. So, when you do the daily dungeons, you'll be rewarded with either one key or two key, depending on the difficulty of the dungeon. If you go in on a normal, it will be one key. If you do it on veteran, you get two keys. Or one key. And then veteran hard mode, you get two keys. Sorry, my bad. So, hard mode, you always get two keys. <coughs> So you can farm the sets, the, the helms, only from dungeons. The chests in the Undaunted area drop shoulders. And there's three different chests in each area. There's a chest for the Path 1 dungeons. There's a chest for the Path 2. And, and so, well, it's like they split the, the dungeons between um, what's in the base game, between the two chests, and Path 1 and Path 2. But you will always get monster sets from those chests so you can run those things get keys turn the keys in to the chests unlock or to, to unlock the chest you get a monster shoulder now the helms only drop in dungeons so you get the helms from the dungeon boss and veteran or hard mode and you get the shoulders from the chests only now you can buy the monster sets from the gold merchant in Cyrodiil on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, but he's limited to a choice of one or two, I think, every Friday and so, Friday every weekend. Yeah. And so you have to keep going back if you want to do it that way. And it will always come there in infused or impenetrable. So you can't get it any other way. That means you have to transmute it. So that's one way to get it. The other way is by farming it out through the dungeon itself and through the daily stuff. Now, dungeon sets. So dungeon items can drop only off of bosses, people say. It's not true. It can drop off of any trash. You can get a set item from any enemy inside a dungeon. Bosses guarantee a drop. Now, some bosses drop named items so you can get jewelry weapons, things like that from different bosses. But you have to know what bosses drop what. And then the final boss will always drop a weapon or a jewelry piece. The rest of the bosses drop any random piece from legs, head, shoulders, you name it, all the way through. Um, like I said, and they can drop named items too, which could be jewelry, weapons, things like that. So learn the dungeons and what drops what. And that's how you farm dungeon sets. Now, trial sets, same thing. All the bosses drop the same thing as they do in a dungeon. So they have named items. They have certain items that they drop in particular. The final boss will always drop jewelry or a weapon. Now, the final boss can drop other items as well. They don't just drop jewelry and weapons. They can drop other pieces of gear too. They're more likely to drop jewelry and a weapon, and maybe one other piece. <coughs> so it'll be a jewelry or weapon, and another piece. And that's how you farm sets in this game. It's not complicated, it's not rocket science, it's time consuming. 
Now, the other thing you have to know about farming sets. Let's say you want to farm sets in the um, Hughes Bane, the Thieves Guild content. You want to get Braha's Curse. Your best bet is farming chests in this area to get a multitude of the stuff you want. Delves if you're looking for boots and belts. And world bosses if you're looking for weapons. So if you're looking for specific items, those are where you want to go to farm. In the DLCs. In the smaller DLCs. Now if you're farming Orsinium and you're farming for Maelstrom stuff, which is the Maelstrom Arena weapons, this is a solo mini trial, basically. And it's not a mini trial, it's a very long trial, but it's a solo trial. And you have to go in here by yourself, and you have to have a good build for this. Now, there's a lot of builds out there that people release from Zynode to Alcast to um, Asian God to not myself, because I don't run this very often. <laughs> I try to avoid running it uh, because I get very frustrated in here. Uh, so, and, and my counterpart doesn't like it when I get frustrated at the game. So I don't run it that often. Um, but if you have the right build, you can run this like and get a 100% clear every time if you have the right build. Now, if you don't have the right build, it's just it's just going to take it take you longer to complete it. But if you know this this place, you can run it every time. Now, farming sets from here. Any time you beat a boss, you will get a set a set piece. The end boss will drop jewelry and weapons, and the weapons he'll drop maelstrom weapons. The same can be said about the um, Dragon Star Arena, which is another four-man trial, or any of the other trials. So, the arena trials can uh, drop item sets to weapons, and these are weapon sets. So, Dragon Star drops master weapons, Maelstrom drops Maelstrom weapons, the Clockwork City. Brass Fortress or Asylum Sanctorium drops Asylum Sanctorium weapons, and then the new mini trial in Merkmire will drop the Black Rose Prison weapons. Now that's how you get them, and they only drop off the final boss, and you have to run it quite a few times to get what you're looking for. And that's why a lot of people don't like running Maelstrom Arena, is because it's very time consuming. It's a lot more time consuming. Um, for a new player learning the experience than it is for somebody who runs it on a daily basis, knows this thing inside and out. And the same thing goes for Dragon Star. Dragon Star is very time consuming. A lot of trials are time consuming. A lot of dungeons can be time consuming. A lot of people don't like running uh, to get Vulcan Scoria because it drops in City of Ash 2, which is one of the longest dungeons in Elder Scrolls Online. It is the largest dungeon in Elder Scrolls only. There is no other dungeon that long. So it's very time consuming to get a monster set. So a lot of people don't like running City of Ash 2, or yeah, City of Ash 2 because of that. Um, and you have to understand, a lot of people are limited to time, so they don't like to do very time consuming things. They want to get in, they want to get what they're looking for and get out. But you have to understand, within MMO, they're time-consuming games. They're made to be that way. And that's why gear farming can be such a problem for so many people. A lot of people want very specific things. Because when you play the game, you're always going to want to get in specific traits. But it doesn't always drop that way, so you're, you're stuck with traits you don't want to use, but you can still use those set pieces. You might not have it in the trait you want, but you can still use them. Until you can either transmute them, or you can change the traits, or ch get new, better traits for those items. But yeah, that's what gear farming is all about. It's about time consumption. If Are you willing to put in the time to get your stats? Now, I have spent a lot of time playing this game, playing through dungeons countless times, looking for specific sets, like uh, White Gold Tower, looking for Spell Power Cure, or running through um, Vaults of Madness, looking for um, Worm Cult, or running through a countless number of other dungeons, looking for very specific sets, and spent a lot of time doing that. I've spent a lot of time farming overland content, looking for specific sets. Mainly things like Plague Doctor, Green Pact, um, 
at one time the Rangers set, another time uh, Twin Sisters and Queen's Elegance. Uh, it just depends, like I said, the sets. And I farm all my sets mostly. I don't go buy them a lot of times unless I, I'm not getting a specific item like a necklace or I'm not getting a weapon type that I really want for that build. Then I will go buy it. And a lot of times it can cost you more buying it than it can farming it. Because farming it is just time. Buying it is gold. And gold is your lifeblood in this game. Because without gold, you can't purchase the other things you might need. Like food, drinks, potions, other stuff. So it, it comes down to how much time are you willing to spend playing the game to farm sets. Because every MMO is like this. It doesn't matter what you're playing. Even games like Destiny 2, where the gear system doesn't seem to be affected that much by what you have unless it comes to the weapon traits in Destiny 2 even the armor traits in the new Forsaken are very important because they give you benefits to different weapon types that allow you to be a better player it give you better benefit to be that thing and this is another reason why a lot of sets are overly farmed in this game like Spriggan's a Mother's Sorrow um, a lot of sets are overly farmed is because of the fact that there's a, such in such high demand by what's called the meta and that's why a lot of these sets are so high priced on the auction house is because of the meta it has nothing to do with their popularity in use of play it, it has to do with how popular they are with the meta and those prices get jacked up like crazy all the time so understand this that's why i farm my stuff and that's why i do these videos is so that other people who have who want to farm their stuff can do so so that's how you farm sets guys it's not like i said it's not complicated it's it's just time consuming very time consuming and if you're willing to put in the time you can get what you're looking for but that's it for the video guys i hope it helps i hope you guys enjoyed it if it does you know what to do go ahead and hit that like button if you guys want to see more videos by me or other things by me you can subscribe other than that i want to thank you all for watching until next time have a wonderful day and this guy might see you in game bye